Uh, good morning, um, or afternoon, or good evening, or it could be the middle of the night, I don't know, for you. Um, right, uh, a couple of riffs ago, um, I was talking about having a descending note going all the way through it and having a root thing chunking along, and then getting a riff that could work through um, uh, the changes, but the actual backing stays the same. Um, I'm going to do the opposite now. So I'm going to do a riff that's so easy it's stupid, it's just two notes. Um, I must turn up. Right, so all it's going to be, and you can choose these notes anywhere. Um, so, uh, <laughs> what is it? It's, uh, so where are we? You can see where the 12th fret is just there. So it's that shape there, all I'm going to do is move it that finger there, so and just play those two those two notes and then those two notes there. So. And and have that rhythm. Right. So to make that more interesting, the backing needs to change. So um, every time you play that riff against a different chord, let's say, it will might make you feel slightly different. So how, how do we pick all the chords? Uh, I don't really know the theory behind that. I'm sure it's got something to do with a cycle of fifths. But I've got a, it's basically uh, C sharp minor here. Now the reason I'm doing this is because I've actually just, I've just written something for an awards ceremony and based it all on this. Um, so I thought, so this C sharp minor, and what I do know is if you, I think the relative major to C sharp minor is E. Uh, you'll tell me if it's not. Um, and then something that goes with that quite easily is uh, G sharp minor, and then back. Um, so I'm going to use those chords, definitely. And what goes with E quite nicely as well, what well, A goes nicely with, with um, uh, E. Also, I know there's a C sharp in A. Um, and I'm going to put in B in as well, because when we go like this, that note uh, is in B. That's why. So I'm going to... Um, uh, we've got a backing track here of that chord sequence. Um, so we're gonna, and then I'm going to just play that riff over it and just see how it changes. And here it goes. Seems to work. Um, so we've got the backing track is, is yeah C sharp minor and A and then to B and then that G sharp minor and then A and then B and then back to C sharp minor. So, I mean, change the key, transpose that, um, or just find two notes where one note changes, but we keep the root C sharp all the way through, and, bring it, and just moving that, which is which is E to E flat. Um, try doing stuff like that. All right. Uh, see you next time. Bye.